Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the ORS Curls Unleashed Color Blast in Golden Bars. I don't have an intro today because I recorded it without any sound, so I couldn't use it. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm starting off with freshly washed and conditioned hair and I'm just showing you the product here. It's a really nice shimmery goldish bronze kind of gold. And I'm going to be using the ORS Curls Unleashed Leave-In Conditioning Cream. I do like this leave-in conditioner, but it's not a favourite of mine. It's not as good as the ORS for Naturals leave-in conditioning cream that I used to use in my old videos. And I do think they have discontinued that product as well, so I'm definitely on the lookout for a new leave-in conditioner. If you know of any leave-in conditioners that are good at the moment, let me know in the comments below. Affordable ones as well, because yeah, I don't like to spend money on my products. <laughs> I already had my hair in four sections because that's how I'd wash my hair and I just go ahead and put that leave-in conditioner into each section. I'm making sure to get in the middle of the sections by parting it off. And I'm very thorough with the way that I apply my products. I really do take my time to make sure that each and every strand is covered in product. And then I follow up with the Jamaican black castor oil and I spread that into my hair as well. The Jamaican black castor oil, because it is a little bit thicker, you have to be a little bit more careful when you're putting that in your hair. So I just do that for each section and then once I'm finished, I twist the section back up. And I'm just going to let the video play whilst I do that. Instead of putting the music behind the video, I'm just going to let the conversation play. I was having a conversation with my son about Avengers and him asking random questions <laughs> as well. So I'll be back in voiceover once I start to put the wax in. This is one of the saddest Avengers stories. That's what I'm saying. I, oh, I think I was glad that I didn't go to see it in the cinema. I was mm. pregnant when it came out. Yeah. So I definitely would have cried in the cinema like some big baby. The Avengers before this, I was so vexed when mm. I left. Remember when we left? I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> I was so angry. <sighs> Look who it is, Scarlet Witch. No, but she, she can kill from so easily. She can just snap her knuckles off and... Scarlet Witch, you know, hey. One Division is a must watch. It was really bad in the beginning, but it got so saucy with like the third or fourth episode. Wow, she's amazing. She, I think she's probably one of my favorite Avengers now. Oh, and oh. Scarlet Johansson, Black Widow. Oh. Oh, my know. favorite Avenger. She's dead. She can't even be brought back. Oh, my girl. I like her. What's her name? I like her. She looks like an animal. <laughs> okay. Hmm? Okay. What? Do I look like a Sarah then? Hmm. I've known you. I'm like Mohala. Yeah, it's mum. It's mum. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, I can know. You're an idiot. Go <laughs> Come on, Captain Marvel. No, I hate Star Lord. I love her haircut in this video. Yeah. But in her the actual movies, she had like a mum haircut, like a mummy haircut. <laughs> Did you just hit about her? Yeah. No, you don't do that to Captain Marvel. Like she's proper sassy. I think that's what I liked about Captain Marvel's uh, personality. She was really sassy and um, she had a short fuse. <laughs> mm. I feel like the cartoons were the galaxy scene like DC. Yeah. They do seem very easy ish. But I do, I like tree. the guardians of it. <laughs> a talking raccoon. Like a tree. A tree and a raccoon. I don't get why four wouldn't click it. What do you mean? Like, because before they were doing it, like, Hulk clicked it and it burned his own. Yeah. I don't get why four didn't do it, because he's a good. Four, yeah, but true. But it's because he was alcoholic, innit? And he was oh, a bit yeah. delirious. Yeah. And yeah. All he was doing is sitting down playing Fortnite. Oh yeah, sounds he, familiar. He, he huh? said he said um to he was raging on the on the mic. Yeah, he no. said, I'm gonna set light into your house. Oh. <laughs> So this is the RRS Curls Unleashed Color Blast in Golden Bars and I'm just literally spreading that all over my hair and I'm trying to go for a full head of color this time around. So I'm using quite a bit of it this time. It looks a bit brown at the moment. Is it coming up blonde or gold? 
you call bronzes? Bronze. Bronze. I think when it dries it'll look bad too. Brighter maybe. Maybe. Yeah, because I think it's angry and driving through it as well. It did do that. Mm. So I'm just applying that wax just like I would any other product and I'm not using a gel in this routine because the first time I used it, it was a little bit too stiff for my liking. So um, I opted for no gel and I used Jamaican black arse oil. Your fingernails are funny. <laughs> black one, them statues. Am I getting safe in the world? Imagine being in a world that don't need saving. But I wouldn't recommend using the Jamaican black cast oil. Maybe something more lightweight, maybe jojoba oil or something like that. Something that can penetrate your hair strands rather than just coating them like the thicker oils tend to do. So something like coconut oil or jojoba oil or almond oil will probably be a better choice to use. I didn't notice any waxy feeling in my hair from the first two times that I tried it with the other colours. But this time round, I really felt a waxy residue and I don't know whether that's because I used the castor oil and the wax together but I did use a lot of the wax this time round so maybe that's why. It just made my hair feel a little bit more weighed down. Hmm? The guy's name is Stephen McFeely. Matthew? McFeely. F-E-E-L-Y. McFeely. You're an idiot. <laughs> You're an actual idiot. You're a touchy feely. <laughs> the falcon and the bitter go up the falcon and the 19th of March oh yes oh I love this app <laughs> the people in the movies like behind the scenes do they actually have to kiss yeah you think there's going to be another one of them do I think there's going to be another one yeah I don't I really don't think they know what they're, what they're doing as for the color oh, um yeah the color was looking a bit too close to my skin tone if you get what i mean like it's making me look really washed out and i was just thinking to myself when i looked in the mirror after i did it and it was it was not good <laughs> it did not look good at all it looks better in this video but it was really bad in person I had no faith that it would look good the next day just because of the way it looked beforehand I was not feeling it at all so yeah I just continued to put that through my hair and I got it as close to my roots as I could I did end up spraying a little bit more water in my hair because I wanted my curls to clump up a bit more than what was happening the product does have a medium to firm hold but I struggled a little bit to get my curls to clump together without a gel so yeah, I just really had to work the product into my hair. Like it took a while <laughs> for my curls to even start clumping together. A lot of raking, smoothing with the prayer hands and all that. But I was happy with the clumping of the curls towards the end. So usually with the Eco Salad Gel, it usually just clumps my curls straight away. And I don't have a problem usually with my curls clumping together the way I want it to anyway. So I would suggest to use a leave-in conditioner, use a lightweight oil, just a little bit, and use a tiny bit of a lightweight gel as well, or one of those gels that don't have a crunchy hold. I bought the Aurora's Curls Unleashed gel, can't remember exactly what it's called, but um, it's supposed to have no crunch, so maybe I'll try that out the next time I try it. I won't be doing no more reviews, because <laughs> I've done them all now, so, um, well, all of the ones that are over here in the UK. But once they get some more, Hopefully, I'll be able to do some more reviews of the colours and see what they look like in my hair. Out of the three that I've tried, Sangria is definitely my favourite. It just suits me a lot more. It's really flattering on my skin tone. Although the golden bars really, really did look really good in the ring light. <laughs> I must say, I know pictures I took in front of the ring light, but in person, it looks more of a brown like a honey brown i'll say which is a nice color and i think it looked really flattering when i wore my hair up in a bun or if i just put my hair up so i'm not too mad at the color overall i was happy with the result 
I did have a little bit of a stickiness going on. Like the curls wasn't separated, they just wanted to bind together. So I just had to make sure I shaped my hair out good and proper when I take it down from putting it up in a pineapple at night. Overall, I do love these color blasts from ORS Curls Unleashed. I definitely do recommend them for any curly girl out there who just wants to have a little change once in a while. So once again, I did record an outro, but I recorded it with no sound, so there's no outro either. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more content from me. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.